Now the Shelby County School Board taking action tonight on the future growth of dozens of schools. Some changes could mean some students would have to go to another school, and you know, that always gets parents' attention. Local 24 News anchor Rudy Williams was inside the meeting where members put much of the blame on the previous administration. Shelby County School Board members faced with some hard decisions as they try to correct practices of a prior administration when it comes to how charter schools have been allowed to run. This issue at hand? Charter schools looking to expand enrollment when academic performance has been below par or contractual terms were violated. Today we're actually talking about the actual recommendation that's been presented to us from administration and how we want to proceed. SES board members were presented recommendations of what happens with enrollment for 13 charter schools within the district. All wanted to either increase enrollment or add grade levels, but not all met the state's success score of 3.0. Of those 13, five were immediately approved for their expansion requests based on high performance. At least three, originally recommended by the administration for denial, were granted approval based on some technicality. Many because the board members felt any breach of contract Contract, such as operating over contracted student limits or with more grades was the fault of the prior administration. And what board members didn't want to do was disrupt student schooling or split up families while righting any prior wrongs in dealing with the schools. Schools that are denied modification must comply with their charter application by the start of this 2020-2021 school year. Schools that fail to comply by the start of the school year will be recommended to have its charter revoked. Rudy Williams, Local 24 News.